boys. We're guardianship of them now. They came to me when they were only two days old and two months old. I would say the best thing about being a mother is um, giving. Um, because in giving you receive anyway. And it's much better to give something. You get more fun out of it than you do to receiving, really. And these, um, I think being a mother, yes, I think. I'm just lucky that I've been given the opportunity. Every child deserves to be a part of a family. It doesn't matter whether it's their biological family or whether it's a, a foster family. They deserve to be part of a family. They need to know that love, that caring, that nourishment, I suppose, from that love. And every child deserves it, no matter where they come from. I became a mum at 16 and it was quite a shock. I was um, the oldest of a very strict Catholic family. I was in year 10 and I had to stop my schooling. I think the most important thing for children is that they are so valued that on the inside of their little heart somewhere that they've just put a little pocket of I am special and I am worth it because if they have that it doesn't matter what the world can throw at them they have got that belief in them there. I just really like children and um, I'm sort of a bit uh, too much for one or two children they know you know it's better if I spread myself around a little bit. I think that uh, having someone that you can rely on and somebody who cares about you um, and you know your every, every little achievement you know you know that mum's going to be thrilled. I said to myself if I went to school got myself at head and actually done all those and then you see a kid in the street you say to yourself is that a right, good thing to see your own kind of people your own kind of children out in the street why can't you step in there and do something? After our two daughters uh, were born to me, we decided if we wanted more children, we wanted to look at children that might be in need of a family. So we didn't really set out with the idea that we'd eventually end up with uh, a family of eight children at home. Uh, I feel very happy and I'm proud of my son. One advice that she has instilled in all of us is just stay focused, stay determined and uh, definitely put in the high yards if you want to get anywhere or achieve anything. She would like to say all mother to be together with kids and help each other and love each other. I fostered for a very long time. Um, my children are very involved. They don't know our home any different. The best part of being a mum is seeing your children grow up and achieve, reach their goals. Welcome back and while most think their mum is the best, only one has the title of Australia's Mother of the Year. The Bernardos Mother of the Year for 2009, Bernadette Black from Tasmania. Maxine McHugh announcing the Mother of the Year, Bernadette Black, and I'm pleased to say that she's with us in the studio now with her husband Stephen, children Damien, Bailey and Flynn. Good morning to all of you and Bernadette, I was there last night, I was so pleased for you, congratulations, the last thing you were expecting wasn't it? Oh it certainly was, I had some notes there and I really didn't think that I would be needing them so I was, um, I was very surprised and it was just an honour and a privilege to be a part of such a wonderful event that was the ball last night. Oh, Joining us now are Australia's Mother of the Year, Bernadette Black, and her son who nominated her, Damien. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Damien, firstly, Good morning, did, guys. Did, did you do this, Good Damien, morning. on the quiet? Was this all a shifty nomination or did Mum know about it? No, Mum did know about it. I told her that I nominated her as soon as I'd done it, so yeah. What's so great no, about no your mum? Oh, everything. Everything's great about my mum. She rocks. So. <laughs> 